Hi everyone, this is Chris from Simply Take and again guys, welcome back to my channel. For my today's video, we are going to fix some problem on jailbreaking. So, um, I have here a iPhone 7 running iOS 14.2 which is disabled. I have a hard time jailbreaking this device because it is running iOS 14.2. So, we all know that um, disabled or passcode devices are not supported by Checkrain especially if it is running iOS 14 and above so in this video I will going to show you guys how to fix this uh, error negative 20 on check ring so before we start let's roll the intro but before we talk about the fix let's check the error that I am encountering so as you can see on my Mac screen we have the check rain 12.2 and for the check rain to recognize our iPhone we should boot to recovery mode and to do that just press the volume down and power button if you are using iPhone 7 and then wait for the Apple logo to appear and then release the power button and continue hold the volume down button until another log up here. and so we are now in the recovery mode so in the check ring 12.2 it says that GSM iPhone 7 GSM connected in recovery mode so just click start and click start and hold the power and side button release the power button and keep holding the volume down button until you enter the DFU mode so once the DFU mode is entered the check rain will resume so let's see if what error what kind of error we are going to encounter and let's see if we could successfully bypass this disabled device or passcode um, device running iOS 14 so this might take a while but as you can see the iPhone is rebooted and the check rain is stuck on I think 75% on its status bar and let's still wait for a few minutes as you can see the phone is already booted on its home screen which is the iPhone is disabled actually guys um, to share it to you yesterday I have a I have a very hard time I already try a lot of process to jailbreak this iPhone 7 I have used some patch check rain and CLI mode and GUI mode but still we have no luck on jailbreaking this device but this day, I think I found the solution for it. So, um, join me and let's fix this problem. So, as you can see, let's zoom in. We have an error on our check range. So, it says that error negative 20. So, that's the problem that I have been encountering. So, that's the problem that I have encountered yesterday. So let's fix this problem. Okay. To fix this problem, we need to download some applications. So if you want to download these applications, I will just put the link on the description so that it's uh, it will be easy for you to find it. So click it and download it. And after you download it, uh, make sure you are using a Mac OS. We also have a method for Windows. I think um, I will insert it right here. But for this method, I will going to use a Hackintosh. So this is a Mac operating system running High Sierra. And um, okay, so this is the application that we're going to use. First is the Mina Loader. The link is on the description. Second is the Mina USB patcher okay any version of these tools might work okay 
but for this process i will going to use mina loader 1.0 and mina, mina usb patcher 3.2 so let's start the process first let's open the mina loader and as you can see on the screen i hope you could read it it says that waiting for dfu mode or dfu mode device let's enter dfu mode manually so again let's press power and volume down button wait until it turns black and release the power button okay we are now in dfu mode press the power volume down and pa and volume up button once you see that the iPhone has booted on DFU, Mina Loader says that found DFU device, press diagnostic mode buttons now. So quickly press the volume up and volume down button to enter the diagnostic mode. If not, you need to repeat the process. So once it is on your iPhone, it is booted on the screen like it like this. You need to click the boot device on Mina Loader. Just click the boot device, and as you can see, the check rain will go until it says that it is now booting. Let's continue. Hold the volume down and volume up button until we enter the diagnostic mode. Diag mode. This is a crucial. Uh, method so you should so you should uh, follow the instruction carefully as much as possible do not skip the video okay so once the tool says that mina loader mina loader says that the device successfully jailbroken you can now use the mina usb to patch usb restrict mode you can now release the buttons and after releasing the buttons you can see that the iphone is now on the diagnostic screen so okay so we have successfully jailbreak it or jail jailbroken this device now let us open another application which is the mina usb so this is the mina usb restrict rex, uh, restricted patcher 3.2 so as you can see we have a button here that says patch usb restrict so just click patch usb restrict and wait for it okay it says that serial number is not authorized okay so let's see if some mina usb patcher could uh, patch this device so let's install some lower versions of this mina usb okay guys so i have tried the lower version of the mina usb patcher and it turns out that it doesn't work also so you need to register your serial number on the mina website once you register your serial number it will it will work just fine so i have registered my serial number this iPhone 7 serial number on the Mina USB Patcher website and now I have successfully patched the iPhone 7 that I am holding right now and now I, al I also successfully removed the iCloud of this device sorry if I can't if I can show you that because I have forgotten to shoot the video for that but I can assure you that it works so if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel Simply Techie and and this is Chris, always reminding everyone that technology is not that complicated. Peace out and God bless. See you around.